Hello, everyone. And uh, we are Ali, Jenny, Louise from 8.6. And in our presentation today, we are going to show you how we extract DNA from strawberries. The main objectives of our project is to have a deeper understanding of DNA to determine how, of, how each of the materials and techniques done helps in this extraction and to extract a visible mass of DNA from some strawberry. Um, so now before we go into our extraction, we need um, to know some background information. Firstly, we'll talk about the three major steps that we need to do in any DNA extraction. Um, so first, we need to release the DNA or the RNA from into the solution by lysing the material. Um, so to create a lysate, uh, which is a product of lysis, um, the dissolution or destruction of cells such as blood cells or bacteria, then you need to separate the soluble DNA from the cell debris or other unwanted insoluble materials such as uh, the lipids by clearing the lysate. Then you need to put the DNA on a purification matrix and clean it with alcohol, um, which helps to remove all the remaining cellular debris and unwanted materials from your DNA. Um, so another important thing that we need to know is the structure of the cell membrane, and this will be very useful for your extraction. So the cell membrane is made of, of phospholipids like these. Um, the phospholipids organize themselves into a bilayer, where the polar heads uh, are the red heads here, are on the outside, and the non-polar tails are the black things, um, are shielded on the inside like that. This is the procedure of our extraction of DNA from the strawberries. The results of our experiment. So the ethanol sat on top of the detergent due to its lighter density, but the bubbles started rising as soon as the ethanol was added and the liquid became cloudy. The DNA grouped rapidly, taking no longer than two to three minutes total before slowing down and seeming to stop grouping. The DNA itself looked like slime and was easily extracted from the mixture and sticky to the touch. And finally, we are going to tell you our reflection conclusion and we're going to show you some other further topics that are related to DNA. So in total, we conducted our model three times and it actually failed twice. But also from those failures, we developed and perfected the procedure. In our first two trials, the DNA did not successfully form out of a filtered liquid as we used rubbing alcohol instead of isopropyl alcohol. However, using rubbing alcohol was also fine for the extraction, but the problem was that we poured the alcohol in too quickly, which was the wrong thing to do with the rubbing alcohol. In addition, we stirred the mixture and we were not supposed to do that. By learning from our mistakes, in our last trial, the extraction went on really well and the DNA of the strawberries came out of the liquid. This time we used rubbing alcohol, we poured it gently and we did not stir up the mixture anymore, but just left it there to sit for a while. Then the strawberry's DNA successfully formed from the liquid. In the experiment, DNA was successfully extracted from the strawberries, also demonstrating the process a real life scientist would possibly extract DNA from cells. This procedure was successful and we were able to extract a visible amount of DNA from the mixture. There are also other topics that I would like to introduce, such as genetic testing of infants and adults for genetic disorders. Another thing you may know about is analyzing and using fingerprints as evidence for crime scenes and suspects. 
There are also uses for procedure, like identifying remains of the dead. And there are also other related topics that we find interesting, such as vaccines, genetic engineering, and hormones. Finally, this is the end of our presentation, and we hope that you have enjoyed and found it helpful, as well as learned something new from it. So thank you for listening to us today, and see you next time.